boys and girls, it's Nurse Sherry, and I'm back to talk about fractions and making fruit salad. Now, I have my fruit here. Wait, what? Is that a carrot and a Brussels sprout? How did they get in there? We know those aren't fruit, right? Okay, guys, you're just gonna have to wait till later for your veg for the vegetable salad. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. But when we're making fruit salad, it would not be good for us to put a whole banana in our mouth to eat for fruit salad, even though we might use it as a smile. Instead, we have to cut up our fruit. And when we cut things up or we divide them, we make fractions. It's really that simple. So I have bananas and apples. <sighs> Little Brussels sprout, go, please. So when we're making things up, we have one thing, one whole thing. We may have a whole banana. We may have a whole apple. Maybe even a whole kiwi. And in this case, maybe we have a whole blueberry. Now we won't have to cut up the blueberry into fractions because it's small enough for us to eat. Maybe even grapes. We won't have to cut up the grapes. So they will stay as one whole piece. So we'll add a whole grape to our fruit salad. And by the way, boys and girls, make sure you wash your fruit before you put it in. So we'll put one whole fruit, one whole grape into our fruit salad as we put one whole blueberry or blueberries into our fruit salad. Okay, that's one. Now, in some circumstances or in some cases, we simply could not eat a whole cutie, right? If I put this in my mouth and I tried to swallow it, oh my goodness. Instead, I'm gonna take this little cutie and I'm gonna divide it up into four pieces. I'm making a fraction fruit salad. So let's look, boys and girls. We're gonna bring it up right here. We take our cutie, look. One, two, three, four. Oh, we have a fraction. This is one fourth of a cutie. This is two fourths, or maybe it made up a half of the cutie. We have another fourth down here. One, two, three fourths. Or we have a whole cutie, which makes four fourths. If we were going to write that, boys and girls, let's take a look at how we would do that. We know we have four sections. One, two, three, four. That's gonna be our denominator, the bottom. But say, say a Nurse Sherry's gonna take only one part of her cutie for the fruit salad. It's gonna be one fourth, right? One fourth. But you know what? I really like cuties. And I can't just stick to one, one cutie, one part of a cutie. So maybe I'll take two of it, two cuties, right? That would be two fours. Or really, boys and girls, I'm taking half, half of this cutie because these two together, one and two, equals one half. Or, because one half and two fours. Or maybe I want to take three fourths of the cutie, right? So it would be three fourths. I'm taking three parts of this cutie to make my fruit salad, right? One, two, three. And maybe I'll eat the fourth one for myself. So let's look at something a little bit more larger than just a cutie, right? Maybe we have a kiwi. How many of you have tried a kiwi before? They're really yummy. When I take the brown fuzzy part off, it looks just like this. Now, again, to put a whole kiwi in my mouth, oh my stars, even Wonder Woman couldn't do that. Instead, I'm gonna divide my kiwi up. So let's look at how we're going to, let's look and see how we're gonna do that. I'm gonna get my little cutting board over here. Yeah, the kiwi is one whole kiwi, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide it. 
I'm going to make fruit salad fractions. Look at this, right? So now I have each side has a part, a half, it's a half of a kiwi. But there's no way, again, that I could put this kiwi into my mouth. So instead, I'm going to divide it into fractions. Look at that. See there? Again, I'm going to divide it into fractions. I'm cutting it up. Now, on the cutie, we had four, pe four pieces that we split it up in. In this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is our denominator. So am I going to maybe use one part of a kiwi? to make one sixth. Maybe I'm gonna do two sixths of a kiwi. Maybe I'm going to do three sixths of a cute kiwi. This would be a half. This equals also one half of a kiwi. When I take these three parts, three sixths is the same as one half. Or maybe I'm going to take four sixths or five six, or six six. I'll take all of them, and that would equal one whole kiwi, right? If you haven't tried kiwi, it's really yummy. So I'm gonna put this into my fruit salad. Two, three, four, five, six. Each piece of the kiwi is a fraction, and it makes up our fruit salad. Next, what about eight? We could cut something up into eight. This kind of looks like a pizza you may have had, right? But we don't put pizza in fruit salad. That would be like the vegetables trying to get in, right? So instead, we can get an apple, right? Our apple is one whole apple, right? As we cut our apple, this might get a little tricky and make sure that if you use a sharp knife that you ask your mom or dad for help. But again, we would take our apple and cut it into half, right? On each side of the apple, one, two, three, four. Look at that. We have four pieces of an apple. Each one is a fraction. This would be one eighth, right? This would be two eighths. This would be three eighths. And this would be four eighths or one half of an apple, right? Now, someone might say, Sherry, this is, Nurse Sherry, this is way too big to eat. Oh, my stars, you're correct. So what happens then? We might even have to cut our apple even smaller. And that's the nice things about fractions, is that we can make things even smaller. So maybe we draw another circle in here because we're gonna have to cut up our apple. Now we don't have eight anymore, right? Instead, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're gonna have 16 pieces, right? And instead of one eighth, we also have now two sixteenths. One, two. Do you see how that happens? Or one sixteenth? One sixteenth would simply be that, wouldn't it? But because we have two pieces of the apple, it becomes two sixteenths. Four sixteenths. Six sixteenths. 8 sixteenths, or one half. See, boys and girls, 
Cooking fruit salad and doing fruit salad fractions is a lot of fun. You could use peaches, you can use oranges. It's really up to you. But I know that during this time when I'm home, I love making fruit salad and thinking about fraction fun. I hope you have a good day and thank you so much for watching.